South Carolina has played and beaten four top 10 teams, including Connecticut and Maryland most recently. And we are underway. Duke wearing the white trimmed in blue. Well, right away, one thing important that's important for Duke is the ball movement and player movement. The ball can't get stuck. And there they go with the three to start it. How will they guard Boston? On me here for three. Knocks it down so much in her arsenal. Jade Williams also had, has gotten her graduate, or is in graduate school, Boston. Now that's just nasty when someone with her ability can start hitting threes. For Leah Boston. Well, every year Leah Boston has added something to her game, and she is stepping up and knocking down the three with. And Dawn Staley talked about just her growth and development, and she's a worker. She wants it. Boston gets another one. Let's go to Drea. Dre is absolutely right. That's going to open up interior opportunities. Yeah, it's scary. You have to guard her all over the floor now. And the offensive putback by Saxton. It's a 10-0 South Carolina run. First time it was part of the competition. Boston very patiently got the shot off. Victoria Saxton. And that's what Aaliyah Boston does, right? She's double teamed. She uses her pivots. She stays poised. Jordan's got to find her stroke for Duke. I mean, she started out hot this season. 16 made threes through the first five games and has struggled over the last three. And that is classic Aaliyah Boston. Got her own miss. And that's gone down because she's 0 for 3 tonight. Here's another opportunity for South Carolina. They love to push it. Hey, who was defending? Bree Beal. Air. <laughs> Swing the ball over to Cook. That's a very chancy pass. Williams with the pick. And finally, a relatively easy opportunity for Duke. Balagoon has five. And continue a relationship with her as well. And man, there are a lot of greats in that picture. Absolutely. All-time Hall of Famers. Outside shot. Nailed by Destiny Littleton. As you see, Duke not shooting well. Worst first quarter shooting of the season. That's a good start to the second quarter. For South Carolina and putting Balagoon in there, somebody who can stretch the floor and knock that shot down. Balagoon is the only Blue Devil who has hit a shot from the floor. And me here, yes, she's playing point, but she can do that as well. Our officials this evening in Durham. Littleton, Day Wilson got to her a little bit too late. That's a couple of threes now for Destiny Littleton. A great opportunity for them to see where they are. And by far the best team they have played this year. Just to go back to Day Wilson as she knocks down the three. Of real estate, now the hard post up. Littleton left open. That's her third three of the game. Someone's going to be open, and for South Carolina, it's just finding that person, and Littleton has given them a lift off the bench. Yes, it's almost like you just have to hope that they miss from out there. There is Celeste Taylor's first bucket. Boston guarding Day Wilson. I think we might have gotten away with a step. Saxton got her own miss. And me here, left open. Now Boston gets it down low. Too easy. Yeah, when she gets it there, it's yeah. pretty much over, right? They need to do the same thing and knock down shots and play with confidence. On the defensive end, they have to box out. She said way too many rebounds and easy buckets for South Carolina. To try to keep them off the boards especially, right? Because they are a tremendous rebounding team. Zy Cook getting the ball and uh, hitting it. by uh, Gordon. Again, seven transfers on this team. Lexi Gordon is one of them. The Birds twins and Tammy Reese play in those Virginia days. Tanya Final Cardoza. Fours. Yes, Tanya Cardoza. Another one. That'll get her, get you heated up, Lexi. Oh my. It's pretty, Pam. On me here. That's a tough shot. It <laughs> went in. She's going to be incredible. I mean, the balance, the body control, and the experience that she's getting right now running point. Day Wilson gets a little bit of a screen from Finkley and then challenges Aaliyah Boston. How about that? Watch out if she gets going. Taylor from distance. See the 
Hill just disjointed on the offensive end. And Zaya Cook has missed 11 of her 12 shots tonight. Day Wilson, I like this kid. Yeah. And he here hesitated. Cook continuing to shoot and continuing to miss. Taylor beats everybody down the floor. Hey, Wilson comes over to help. Boston able to spin away from danger. Well, staying on balance. Against Maryland the other day to go along with 16 points and 16 rebounds. Look at South Carolina, that's the first interior pass they, they had that wasn't a, a post entry. Who say they want to be coach and challenge that don't really want it. But great players do, and Aaliyah Boston is showing that she is a great dominant player who craves the next level. They will play them again on January 27th. South Carolina will. Good child, that's what she does. South Carolina has dominated the series lately. Oh, Cook needed that one. Shot clock at five. Here we go. Here's the Zaya Cook we're used to seeing. Inside two minutes left to go. Oh my goodness. Cheyenne Day Wilson. Exciting player. A subpar offense. Day Wilson. Starter. Leah Boston, 19 points, 14 rebounds, another double-double for her. Littleton and Ami here also in double figures. Day Wilson leading Duke with 17 three threes off the bench.